Hey YouTube, it's Penny. I wanted to bring you a couple of dreams that I had that I believe are related. So I'm going to start with um, the one that I had on June 4, where I was sitting across the table from my husband and my coat uh, had fallen on the floor. And I bent over to pick it up and was holding it in my lap. And my husband said something like, so you're leaving? Uh, you know, because I was holding on to my coat and so I, I let it fall back on the floor and I put my hands on his face and said, I'm not going to bolt. And then I woke up with the understanding that as his faithful bride, I was going to remain with him until the end. And of course, in this case, I thought it was, you know, the end of the meal or whatever, because it seemed like we were out at a, a restaurant or something. But OK, so the definition of bolt is to you know to rush away to move or to leave suddenly uh, the scriptures that i received are james 5 7 through 10 be patient therefore brethren unto the coming of yahavah behold the husbandman waits for the precious fruit of the earth and has long patience for it until he received the early and latter rain be ye also patient Establish your hearts, for the coming of Yahavah draws nigh. Grudge not one against another, brethren, lest ye be condemned. Behold, the judge stands before the door. Take my brethren, the prophets, who have spoken in the name of Yahavah, for an example of suffering, affliction, and of patience. And then Mark 13, 13 and Matthew 24, 13, which are very similar. The first one says, and ye shall be hated of all men for my name's sake, because he that, sh oh, but he that shall endure unto the end, the same shall be saved. And then, but he that shall endure unto the end, the same shall be saved. So back on March 19th, I actually received the words, pray that you are willing to endure to the end. And I uploaded a video about that, um, that so you can search for that. It's, it's called Pray That You're Willing to Endure to the End. Okay, so on June 12th, I dreamt that I was trying to learn a new dance routine, but I couldn't figure out what the instructor wanted us to do. So um, when I was younger, I used to choreograph, and um, so it, I would, it's, it would be a common thing for me to teach other people dance routines, the things that I had choreographed. So in the dream, you know, this made perfect sense to me. So anyway, the instructor was up on a, a little bit of an elevated stage and she was telling us verbally to do a certain movement, but she wasn't demonstrating it. Um, she was just saying the name, like you would say, like if you were in a ballet class, you'd say, you know, plie or releve. Well, I've never taken ballet, so I wouldn't even, even know what what those moves are um, but in this case I did not even I didn't even recognize the word that she was saying so if she had said like kickball change you know I would know what that is and how to do that but I didn't know what she was talking about and so I would say what about is it like this is it like this and I kept kind of like guessing as to what this move was that she was talking about and then finally in frustration I said just show us what you want us to do I can copy pretty much anything so at that point, she came down off the stage, and she was in the in the midst of us, the group that was learning. And and at that point, the dream vis uh, switched uh, to more of a vision. And I remember even thinking, "Oh, I'm, I'm seeing a vision now." <laughs> so, and interesting, I could only see her from like her neck down to her waist. So I couldn't. That that was it. And she was she was moving. Um, backwards and she in this graceful motion that I recognized as the cadence uh, of a bride and I might not have recognized it except that what I saw her wearing in the in this vision was a white dress um, I could see that the bottom of her veil um, at about here and I could see that she was carrying a bouquet a bridal bouquet so obviously and so I exclaimed oh like a bride walk and she replied yes 
Your feet are the picture of the bride walk. And I woke up. So, um, and, th and that makes sense to me too, because a lot of times when I would teach th these routines that I'd choreographed, I would say, okay, let's break it down. I'll teach you the arms, and then I'll teach you the, the legs or the feet movement. So the fact that I was only being shown, um, you know, I, there was no arm movements, it was just feet. Okay, so the scriptures that I received for this dream, vision, uh, was 2 John uh, 1 through 9. So 2 John's actually only one chapter. So an elder unto the elect lady and her children. So the elder is John, obviously, writing this. With whom, I'm sorry, whom I love in the truth, and not I only, but also all they that have known the truth. For the truth's sake, which dwells in us, and shall be with us forever. Grace be with you, mercy and peace from Elohim the Father, and from Adonai Yeshua HaMashiach, the Son of the Father, in truth and love. I rejoiced greatly that I found of your children walking in truth, as we have received a commandment from the Father. And now I beseech you, lady, not as though I wrote a new commandment unto you, but that which we had from the beginning, that we love one another. And this is love, that we walk after his commandments. This is the commandment, that as ye have heard from the beginning, ye should walk in it. For many deceivers are entered into the world who confess not that Yeshua HaMashiach is come in the flesh. This is a deceiver and an anti-Messiah. Look to yourselves that we lose not those things which we have wrought, but that we receive a full reward, which reminds me of Revelation 3.11. Whosoever transgresses and abides not in the doctrine of Hamashiach is not Elohim. He that abides in the doctrine of Hamashiach, he has both the fa oh, he has not Elohim. I'm sorry, I read that wrong. He that abides in the doctrine of Hamashiach, he has both the Father and the Son. I have my glasses on, I still can't see. <laughs> okay, so, and the other scripture was Colossians chapter 1, 9 through 11. For this cause we also, since the day we heard it, do not cease to pray for you, and to desire that ye might be filled with the knowledge of his will in all wisdom and spiritual understanding, that ye might walk worthy of Yahavah unto all pleasing, being fruitful in every good work and increasing in the knowledge of Elohim, strengthened with all might according to his glorious power unto all patience and long suffering with joyfulness. So the other thing that um, I thought was interesting is in the, the vision when I saw her walking, I saw her walking backwards and I couldn't figure it out. Like why, why would she appear to be walking backwards? And, and then uh, this morning I received a, a private message from a sister who said something about that she had seen, had seen a vision and she automatically read it backwards like in Hebrew because in Hebrew you read from the right to the left instead of the left to the right. And it clicked. I went, oh, this is about a Hebrew bride, a Hebrew wedding. And the other thing is that the feasts or festivals of, of Yahweh are moeds. They're appointed times. They are dress rehearsals. So since in my you know dream, I was still learning this you know routine or whatever, and it was the bride walk. I obviously am still rehearsing, right? I'm still in the rehearsal phase. And so we're not there yet. And so the fact that, you know, put this together with the dream about me telling my husband that as, you know, basically as a faithful bride, that I was going to remain until the end. There you have it. Okay. So here is the shofar.
Shema Yisrael Adonai Eloheinu Adonai Echad. Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God, the Lord is one. Amen.